Dear, what have we here? A penguin behind enemy lines? Am I going to eat you? No, oh, no, no, heaven forbid! For you see, I am a vegetarian polar bear. We have sworn off all meat, my potbelly chum and I. So, you being just such a meat product yourself, are in no danger of becoming ordered in this facility. Tut, tut, there will be no squabbling. It could alert the enemy. Then all the glorious food in that hut would not become mine. No potato pie to be made from the mounds of spuds therein. No delicious banana nut bread. And no way in without being minced to shish kebab cubes. <sighs> what? Oh! <laughs> You destroy my element of surprise! <laughs> and you? Humiliating. Now you listen here, you. There will be no more of your willy-minded duckiness. Is that clear? <laughs> solution.
Now you listen here, you rutabaga robber, you <laughs> you horseradish highwayman. I demand my fair share of the spoils. <gasps> Oh, dear, not again. <laughs> ah, once more into the breach. I must endure. Hunter Smedley, the world famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm going to locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. <laughs> Undersea treasure, here I come! Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That's sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes, you, penguin. Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair, permanent like. My high-tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago, and I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Pirate Ghost! You again? Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin! with me, you miserable little... Ah! Oh, no, you don't. I have had just about enough of this horseplay. Get off my sub and stay off. Bon voyage, you little penguin. Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Yo ho hum in a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Hmm. Why you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. No 
Oh, it's your work. The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free him up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my doubloons. Cease and desist before I desist you myself. Uh oh. I'll just enter through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trasher, you. Whoa! No! Don't open that one. A show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open.
You know, some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand? But, Captain, sir! Mm. Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> And that critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But Captain, sir. <laughs> Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? No, you don't, you freeloading feedbag. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy. I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know I'm being demoted to anchor. What do you think to me that nobody watches me? Why, cooking with Rufus Ledufus has always been a, how you say, hit show for this station. Listen to this letter from Mr. Sheely Wheely. Dear Rufus, which is moi, please send me all your recipes, ingredients included. Ha! You can't buy a better review for a cooking show. You, what? What's the scoop, boss? What's the scoop? Wilbur, we have to liven up the show or the bus is going to fire me, you know. Well, like I've been saying, you gotta make more exotic like dishes, Rufus. Crap, Suzette! An idea has hit my fantastic brain. I got to make more exotic like dishes. <laughs> Get me this penguin. We're going to make gumbo! <laughs> Cooking with Rufus Ledufus. I am your 
humble cooking servant. And today, we're going to cook up the most exotic thing that you ever did see. Well, you're not my idea of exotic, but I guess you'll have to do. There you go. We're live at five. Hello there. Uh, welcome to my number one fan, which is you. I got your letter and uh, welcome to the show, you see. You probably want a nice warm bath after your travels, yes? <laughs> there you go. Now everybody will be watching the show. No. Come on back here, you little critter. I am, uh, how you say, cooked in my own jeux. Get back, you little annoying one. I got a show to do. Boss, this ain't no jacuzzi show. We're on in five seconds. Then you better find the penguins in, no? No? Yes! Huh? Just get the penguin! <laughs> Uh, the water is uh, not quite ready, you see. Uh, so, instead, we're going to prepare a penguin uh, gumbo pie. Yeah, the uh, penguin uh, gumbo pie there uh, requires a delicate balance of spices and love. So, uh, walk with me to the spice rack, and we'll pick up some loving spices. What do you think? Uh, let me see now here. Uh, we're going to make these ingredients sing like crickets on a muggy Sunday. <laughs> Whatever that is. Google it, Gumbo. The penguin gumbo pie just makes me so, uh, how you say, exciting. <laughs> uh, why don't we take a little break to calm things down, and then we shall pie that penguin up real good, you know. <laughs> You turned out the lights. Boss, boss! Do you have the penguin? Well, I couldn't find a penguin, but I found an even better kind of exotic animal to live in the show up. What do you think? Uh, hiya, buddy. Like I was saying, uh, you cannot serve such exotic delicacies as a penguin gumbo pie and penguin gumbo gumbo without the proper uh, table dressing. Uh, while my assistant puts the uh, finishing touches on the pie, I'll show you how to make the party proper with all the delicious trimmings. <laughs> Well, I tell you, nothing says the good life like doilies and the lazy Suzette, no? <laughs> That's why Rufus always recommends... Oh, great googly gumbo! Uh, that, that is to say, uh, sometimes you just got to throw caution to the wind and... Uh, and you... Oh. And, uh, yes, uh, we'll take a quick break here to clean up. And then it's penguin gumbo pie for all and... Good night. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Boss, I think I found an even exotic animal than the last one. Could it perchance be the penguin? <laughs> I hate seafood. Well, is that no good penguin? Boss, no, please. The show's back on in five seconds. Ah, oh, don't care about the show, Wilbur. Now it is a show down. with Rufus Ledoufus. This is Wilbur. Oh, hello, sir. I, I can explain. You see... What? The switchboard is lit up like a Christmas tree for this? They love the penguin? 
Wilbur, you go get my recipe book, and we shall find a new way to cook penguin, no? no. Wilbur, what are you doing? Release me, this is Dante! It's your show now, sir, which means I can't let anything bad happen to you. So, what's today's episode about, boss? Uh, welcome to Cooking with Chili! Today, we will be making crawdad gumbo! Yum! Oh, no, you don't! I am not an ingredient! I am a greatest chef! I shall return and saute you! You shall see! <laughs>